Good morning, good morning, good morning. Here we are. The new moon in May in Taurus. Taurus is grounding. It's Earth, ruled by Venus. We start to think about how we are showing up, especially summer. I know I need a haircut. So let's get a haircut yesterday. I had to go to a funeral. What about you? How are you showing up? So one of the things that this new moon is bringing in, the message coming forward, is that is that this new moon is allowing you to reset or set up new intentions related to all the work that you've been going through. So if you're feeling vulnerable, if you feel like you've let go or things abruptly ended, I know I've had a little of that, and you find like you're opening to a new path, but you're not quite there, all right? You've taken some steps, you can feel vulnerable. Like nothing's working, what am I doing? Who am I to do this new part of me? That's exactly where we're at right now. I was working with a client yesterday and she had a really hard day before, she had a really hard uh, meeting with her boss. And part of it is because she's been doing so good and they keep pushing more on her new stuff, but she feels out of sorts, but yet she knows this is where she's going. And this is exactly the energy we're in. Like maybe you do feel out of sorts too. Maybe you feel like, I'm not sure if this is the path I want to go on. It's okay. It's okay to feel vulnerable. I mean, like we shed skins and that's what all that eclipse and April and retrograde was like, it was like all that energy. That's what it was about. And so now we are vulnerable. It's like the, the snake without a skin, it becomes a little vulnerable. And so you're wondering like, oh, is this really me? Can I really do this? Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> so I've been talking about my next program. It's called Shapeshifters. It's time to shapeshift your path, to be the artist of your spirit, to put those intentions out, even when it feels vulnerable. Even when it feels vulnerable, you have to trust. And that's why we do the spiritual work, so that we start to trust that deep desire in who we are. We really wanna go in and go, okay, what am I? Who am I? Where am I going? It is a time to shake it up. All around us, everything is in chaos, quote unquote. Everything is shifting and changing. And we're trying to figure out what is that next step amongst all the chaos. So when we come back to our center, when we take time for that pause, we can hear our messages. And if they're new messages and new paths, they may be a little quieter. That's why we get quiet. That's why we find time to set ourselves up, to follow and be authentic in who we are. So what are you setting this season? All right, now let's just kind of relate it to Mother Earth. You go outside, maybe you have a garden, maybe you do some planting. I know I love my garden this time of year. All this rain we've been having where we are, right? You go out like, oh my gosh, look how much growth. Then you also notice all the little weeds, right? Yeah, pick them out, pick them out so that the rest can bloom and blossom. They're pretty vulnerable too. If you go outside after a rain, some of them are like this. Maybe that's how you feel. So when we get outside and put our feet on the earth and can align and feel what Mother Earth is feeling, it does help us to grow. I know so often it's easy to overlook that part of the day or that part of, of the ability to bring in messages, but it is so important. It will help you set up and listen and pause so that you know what to intend, set your intentions. So when we set intentions, so I said we have like two and a half days under that new moon. It came in last night about 5.30. So we're in that light of, yes, set it out. And we want to write these intentions as if they're already occurring. I am receiving. I am doing this. I am vibration. Instead of, oh, I want this, or I wish that, or, you know, I don't want to do this, especially the don't wants, because that just keeps the vibration low. So gather any crystals you have around you. Crystals hold vibration because as you write, you wanna have that vibration in there. And as you write too, we're gonna to set up our path. We're gonna set up our, our morning intention here, but you also wanna feel. What is the elevated emotion as you're writing your intentions down? You wanna feel them in your heart so that you can then program your aura to hold that vibration for you. All right, so we have most planets are direct. I think Pluto's going to do a little backward action. So you should actually feel 
that increase in your path as well. We're probably going to fly through the rest of spring and already just go right into summer because of that direct emotion from all the retrograde. So notice for you how you're feeling as we take this time to tune in and set these intentions. All right, so if you have something to light, we always start by lighting some fire, calling in the sacred elements. So as you light the fire, recognizing that soul within you is being sparked, pulling the energy in, noticing the element of air, we clear the mind, we clear the space. Calling in the element of water, let the emotions just run all the way through you. Calling in the element of earth, grounding, centering, feeling that connection. Taking a nice deep inhale, breathing up the body. And as you exhale, just call all your energy into you, call it in. Take another deep inhale, expanding the breath up the body. Exhale, slowing down, feeling yourself pulling in. Inhale, expanding the breath up the body. And now as you exhale, just aligning, calling in, feel that spiritual body coming right on top of the physical, the emotional, the mental bodies, all centering. Taking another deep inhale, breathing up the body. And as you exhale, dropping into your heart, right into the deepest part of your heart. Feel that connection, your spirit and the greater spirit. Know that you are loved, guided. This is where we co-create from, right here, the deepest part. Taking a moment as we set the space, we call in the masters, the teachers, the archangels, joy and love, calling in the crystal beings to magnify this energy, to bring in that amusement that crystals do. And now call in your higher self right on top of the crown. Feel the higher self coming in to receive all those messages for you. Taking another deep inhale, expanding the breath up the body beyond the crown, up into the higher realms, and as you exhale, call in absolute light, streams of grace all the way through you. Feel that opening of energy all the way down, deep into Mother Earth. And feel that breath coming back up from Mother Earth, opening up the radiant channel, the Shushinda channel, all the way into the higher beings. Be this channel of light, exhaling down, bringing in this light, this codes of energy for you. And now right from the heart, as you take that next breath, expand it through your aura, open up the aura. Exhale, breathe the aura back in, just moving energy, all the stuff we stuff in our aura. Inhale, expand the breath all around you. Exhale, breathing it all the way back in. And again, inhale, just checking in front, side, back, side, all the quadrants of the aura. We open, we breathe, and now we call it in very close. Call in your auric field close to you. Inhale, breathing up the body. Exhale, breathing down. Inhale all around you. Exhale, coming right back into the heart. Right here in the deepest part of your heart. This is where we co-create. Taking a moment, noticing where you are on this great wheel of life. Where I am right now, we're in the spring. We find ourselves in the direction of the east where things start to bloom and grow. We start to plant those seeds. We're halfway till summer. So see yourself standing right in the middle of this direction between the east and the south, facing the sun, right here in the heart. Where are you going? What is your path opening up to? Feel that, see that, hear that, know that. And as you go to write these intentions for you, what are you intending? to help you finish through the spring, 
Feel it, see it, hear it, know it. And now just taking a few moments, writing down, write down 10, 10 intentions for you. The I am, I intend, I receive. Feel that in your heart as you write these down. Committing them to word, your word, your agreements with yourself. Each one, feel it and see it. Just going to send some Reiki energy out. Remove any obstacles that keep you from stepping forward. Feel the excitement grow as you write these intentions, the I am. I am receiving, I am abundant. New clients, new projects, new love are reinforcing the love, the clients, the work that you do. Feeling those elevated emotions, the excitement of your soul. Feel the strength in the solar plexus, your power. As you're writing these intentions, the yellow light streams through, strong, holding that agreement. Feeling that connection with your source, your life. Bring it in. Continue, a few more, write them down. As you see yourself walking through this month, growing, we continue to plant these intentions. Noticing what you've written. You know, Reiki, little Shokure, 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 by each one. Feeling that Shokure in your heart that holds those elevated emotions, how you want to feel as each of these come in. We hold that elevated emotion. Perhaps it'll come in in a different form, greater, bigger. The universe knows, trust. He's calling all those crystal beings in to help magnify this energy. And now noticing all those intentions you're writing under this new moon energy. Feeling the grounding of Mother Earth beneath your feet. And now from your heart, elevate those emotions. The joy, the love, the light, the peace, the freedom. And we want to radiate that out. Imagine filling up, programming your aura. Front, side, to the back, to the side. Open it up, that arm's length. Hold it about there until you can feel a nice charge of energy all around from your heart.
your intentions. Your intentions, see them. Be in that space that you can see them coming in all around you through your aura. And then as you feel all through the aura, you can open it up a little more. Don't lose it though. Hold that energy. You're the creator right here with source all around you. Feel yourself surrounded in this beautiful light. Only good comes to you. Only good goes for you. Holding this vibration. Feel the sound coming in. Bliss. Perfect fifth. And just imagining all this energy around you now is being charged with this vibrational light with Reiki, all for your highest good. This or better, this or better universe. Only good comes to you, only good goes from you, surrounded in this light. Take a deep inhale, exhaling again right through the heart holding that vibration. And again, breathing, imagine it coming from the womb of creation. Inhale into the heart. And now exhale all around you, right through your aura. Feel that high vibration. See it, hear it. Ask for a message as we hold this light. Feel it coming in. Breathe. One more deep inhale from the womb into the heart and now exhaling it all the way around. Holding that vibration, exhaling all the way down deep into Mother Earth, releasing the attachment. Just hold the vibration. Feel it in the third eye, the heart, the solar plexus. If you drop it, you just come back to it throughout the day. Yes, these are my intentions. That's what we want to learn to do, hold that vibration. And to help with that, we just tap it right into the energy body. So using the tapping points here at the eyebrows, just tap both hands, one hand, underneath the eyes, nose and chin, collarbone, underneath the armpits. And again, eyebrows, awakening the body, Getting everything unified. It's okay if you miss a point or add a different one. Helps the body work in unison towards your goals. You can add in your mantras. You start to feel the vibration and the rhythm. I am receiving. I am manifesting. I am in my light. I am free. Let's get the thymus. I am healthy, strong. I am processing, moving through. I am receiving. I am abundant, I am love, I am light, I am healthy, I am strong. Feel this vibration of light, I am. Your mantras, I am joy. Saying them out loud, I am peace. I am receiving, I am growing, I am in alignment. Two more. I am. Feel that energy all around, empowering your aura, empowering your field of light, your mantras. I am. Your intentions. Healthy, alive, strong. Last one. I am joy. I am peace. I am love. I am healthy. I am. Come to the karate chop point. I choose to love and accept myself no matter what. Just release the hands. Take a breath. Feel the buzz of energy. Inhaling. And exhaling all the way back down. And just bringing the hands right up to the heart. Taking a moment of gratitude and ascending emotion, lifting the vibration, gratitude for this new moon, the cosmic forces, this beautiful spring energy of renewal for all your intentions, gratitude for your spirit, the connection you have with the greater spirit, gratitude for showing up for you, inhaling, 
and exhaling all the way down, feeling that connection with Mother Earth, returning to that vibration in your heart for your intentions, holding that light. One more deep inhale and exhale. And as you're ready, blinking the eyes back open, coming back. Take this heart vibration with you out through your month. Have a great day. Thanks for joining to your spirit. Namaste. All right.